awesome if I could make an intro for these vlogs. But the thing is, um, I wouldn't be able to use video game footage and music that's not mine. So it can't be like some major record label or something. So if anyone has any suggestions on things like that, or better yet, wants to make it for me, yeah, that, that would be super duper awesome. Like if anyone wants to, just send me a message or something. Um, it doesn't have to be like super fancy or anything, just a few second, quick little intro. Hell, it can be just text for all I care. Just make it an intro, and you have to be absolutely positive that there will be no copyright problems. But if you're interested, send me a message, or if you have any suggestions, post them in the comments below. I'd like to hear them. That was Imaginary Hearts. It's a young YouTube editor. She's edited a lot of Final Fantasy music video type pieces. She just started making a vlog and wanted to know if there was an intro, and it's kind of weird because considering she's such a good editor, I'm surprised she didn't make her own intro. But I thought, why not do the challenge? So I actually wrote to her and I said, hey, you know, I can do something for you. I'm editing right now. I got I'm editing her intro. I gotta fit all of this in this. Hence the challenge. My week is starting now. This is my week. So like I said at the introduction, I am helping out uh, actually a couple of YouTube vloggers. This one, Imaginary Hearts, doing an introduction for her vlog that she just started. Always liked her edits. I thought she was a good editor, so she offered in her vlogs to say, hey, I need to, someone to make an intro for me or give me advice on how to make an intro. So I thought, since I have some experience, why not? I'm also helping a vlog of a client of mine who wants to do like a vlog on exercising and getting in shape and in health and then his ultimate goal is to go to a, it's called tough a tough guy competition it's a obstacle course in England that's just it's, it's wild it's horrendous I'll give you a link to both vlogs but I'll give you a link to uh, this guy's vlog to show you um, what I mean about how tough actually it is this tough guy court is just I wouldn't do it and, and he and he wants to do it but he's got to obviously train for it so, so for a year and a half he'll be vlogging his his training course and then I'll be editing it putting it together and um, basically monitoring the vlog making sure it's presentable and, and looks interesting so that's a little bit of what I'm working on I obviously have other video stuff I'm doing as well but for today maintaining this and then I got to edit uh, Imaginary Hearts introduction. We'll probably get that done today, a day early. I am good. Taking a break from the editing and now I'm just gonna start and prepare dinner. I haven't done a fast motion dinner making process, not since the last time I did it, so I'll do it in this kitchen now. <laughs> simple meal just making a salad and I'm also going to do some type of form of broccoli spaghetti probably with some uh, garlic and onions mixed in with it as well make it really nice and tasty <laughs> Salad's practically made just got to add the olive oil and salt now to prepare the broccoli spaghetti <laughs> over to the other side so you can see what's cooking over here. We have a salad and we have broccoli spaghetti. That smells so good. You have your protein here, you have your proteins here, you have your nutrition. Why would you need meat? This is how vegetarians do it. I just found out that 
something came in the mail, my shirt with the Country Brushrooms logo on it. I have no idea what this is going to look like, so hopefully it's going to be good. But open it now. I'm going to get scissors. To find scissors. I saw the scissors right there in the desk. You put it there, probably you have it ready. I guess everybody's going to see it through the video. Oh. My husband needs a telescope. Sorry, honey, my eyes are kind of hurting today. I don't see that. I'm just joking. All that. Don't you love it when scissors don't cut? Okay, so what is it? Show me. Um, isn't that sweet? It's cool. Very good. Cool. I'm going to wear this tomorrow. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I mean, I'm going to be seeing clients tomorrow. There you go. Connector Productions t-shirt, people. There Yay. it is. There. One more step. Here we go. <laughs> As you can see, wearing the Connector Productions shirt that I got in the mail. Looks pretty darn good, although I think in the future, what I'll do, instead of having this in the front, this will probably be the only shirt that'll have, like, the big logo in the front. I'll have a, um, so sh shirts in the future, I'll have a smaller logo, like, on, on the left side, and then just the big logo in the back of the shirt. That's what I'll probably be doing with the Connector Productions shirt, and I'll, pr and I'll be doing probably some My Week in 8 Minutes t-shirts, too. Not sure when yet, though. Just to give you an update, I was able to complete the introduction for Imaginary Hearts. She loved the video, and I'm going to get the camera and show a couple seconds worth of it. But if you want to see the whole introduction, just check out her vlog, and you'll see what she does with it. Um, like I said, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, showing where her vlog is so you can see her vlog. She'll probably release her vlog at the same time I do this, so it should be up there sometime. Just want to show you the intro so for the vlog real quick. So of talking about it, why not show everyone what's going on? And poof, now I'm actually at AJ's. Don't you love the power of editing? Hi. There's my fiance here. There's Nancy. See? 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 Let's see. So... So anyway, that is uh, her introduction. Before I end this vlog, I just want to say that the next few weeks are going to be a little busy for me. I'm not going to tell you exactly what's going on yet, but let's just say it's a lot of big things for Connector Productions. It's going to be busy, so I will continue vlogging, but the vlog may be released a day or two later. So instead of my usual releases on Sunday, I might not have enough time to edit to release on Sunday. You might see the vlog a day or two later, so maybe on a Monday or Tuesday. That's only for the next three or four weeks. Then after that, we'll most likely be back to a regular schedule of Sundays. So just want to let you know, I'm not going to tell you what's going to happen. You'll just see it as it unfolds, and it's going to be really fun, really exciting times for me. Finally be able to work a little bit and get, up and get out there in the field and show what I can do uh, with my production company. I will see you guys next week. See you later.